here's the bare bones. It's time to start working on this wiring mess so that it'll all fit neatly under the box. Made everything work so that I could test all the functions and clearance and everything. But as you can see, it does not fit in here neatly and nothing was done all that clean. We've got multiple speed controllers. We've got these big ones here. And then we've got smaller ones for running the little actuators here. And we've got our receiver here, which does not have enough channels to run everything, so we're going to need to change that. And all these plugs and everything, it's just bulky and a big mess. I'm going to eliminate like all of these on-off switches. I'm just going to hardwire them to always be on if they're plugged in. Get rid of all the plugs. Try and get it situated in here as neat as we can. Making progress here, I printed a little organizer to hold all of the speed controllers and I've switched to two of these ELRS receivers. They, uh, they're supposed to be seven channels but only six of them work. You've got to do a some kind of upgrade to them to get the seventh channel to work. But anyway, running those, I'm able to get 12 channels and I only needed 11. So we're uh, getting closer. Okay, I finally got the wiring cleaned up proper enough that uh, everything fits. Not overly pretty inside. Pull this off. But you can see that everything fits inside. And uh, that's good enough for me. A receiver here, you can kind of see a receiver back on that side too. So I've got the two receivers. I've got, uh, what is there, eight uh, speed controllers there. Plus one more speed controller for this motor up here. Wiring is finally done. Now we can move on to the bodywork.